One thing is basic, whether it's about education or employability, family, which is the building block of society, is so crucial towards the whole process and whole approach. One of the things that have kept me going uh, over the last five years is the notion of seeing residents' life being improved day after day. And you realise that uh, programmes carried out by the CLF has touched the lives of people. When we work with uh, dysfunctional families, we must first uh, acknowledge that it is not easy for them. Uh, we must start uh, where they are. And it is a journey, a journey together with them to go through the challenges that they are going through. With regards to the dysfunctional families, uh, we realise that what's important is to provide them with the necessary level of support. And what we're concerned about is really the children and how we can support the children to make sure that we continue to provide a conducive environment for the whole family. Uh, that's where we develop a program called the Wrap Around Care. I think the sense that clients may get, and I, and I know some clients are getting it, is that I have more than one person who's caring for me and my family. And that's a wonderful feeling and that's a wonderful way of being cared for. Yeah, so this idea of wrap around is, is a beautiful idea and, and I think um, we, were, we were enamored by it. Like we, we, we wanted to be on it because it's, it's great to have more partners coming in. This concept of many helping hands, Kotong Royong. You know, I mean, Malays understand that concept. We as Asians understand that concept. Um, it, it's, it's wonderful to have that in. To me, these are things that uh, programs like this helps to touch the lives of people. And this will motivate them further to improve their lives and those around them. And you need to be persistent in the way you persuade them. Because once you open the door, or rather you touch their heart to go for such program, I think they will come back to you to ask for more. So when they start coming to our Strengthening Family series, for example, they begin to feel that they are not alone. They begin to feel that there are others like them. Everyone is prepared to learn. Everyone is prepared to make good. And when the message, uh, positive messages come through each one of them, what we are seeing through our Family Excellence Circle, which is really one of our key programs also, is the uh, systemic effect of how people come together. And they actually um, right on each other's positive vibes. And we see very strong um, networking uh, happening uh, within these families. These are different programs trying to reach out to different levels of family development and different needs. But what we want is actually for the families to come out and benefit from the programs. Don't feel shy, don't feel embarrassed, don't feel stigmatized. These are programs meant to help uh, those who are in need of help and they should come forward and this way we can reach out to more people. One of the challenges with dysfunctionality is divorce. We want to try to provide a system where we recognize yes, you may have divorced, you may want to remarry, but let's try to make this second marriage work. Uh, for both of you and with that the recognition that you need some skills to manage and um, we work towards setting up a targeted and a dedicated service to that and we worked with uh, PPIS and today we have Vista Sakina a dedicated center um, developed to provide services uh, to reconstituted families
I'm very heartened to see more and more families who have benefited from programs of the CLF have come forward to help to reach out to their friends, relatives and neighbours. I hope over time we can get more and more members of the Malay Muslim community coming forward. Be assured that there are many programs which are available for your needs. They are customised to meet different levels of issues and concerns which we have for the family and they are for you. Do come forward and benefit from these programs. I think we recognise that we cannot do this alone. It must be a collaboration between all the different stakeholders. It is the interconnectedness that is critical in trying to make sure that these families have a sense that the community is there to support them, that the community is full of resources, and for all the stakeholders to recognise that whatever they do, it has to be family-centric in focus, that the families are the ones that we are trying to help, that every one of us wants the best for each and every family that we work with.